नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी स्टैंडर्ड एज सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर थर्ड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द रिविजन ए वीडियो सो वॉट इज फाइबर फाइबर मीन्स वॉट ए सिंगल इलांगेटेड पीस ऑफ मटीरियल सिंगल इलांगेटेड पीस ऑफ मटीरियल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ए फाइबर सो यू आर जिंग थ्रेड सो दैट इज now we wear clothes so you know that we are wearing the clothes that are made up of different types of fabrics fabrics means cloth and these fabrics are made of fibers okay so there are two types of fibers two types of fibers natural fibers and synthetic fibers so what do you mean by natural fiber means what the fiber which is obtained from made from you are not saying here okay obtain from the nature so that is called as what you are saying natural fibers for example silk cotton wool so you know that silk we are getting from silk worm cotton from the cotton plant wool from the where sheep so like this these are all the natural fibers now the next one is the what you are saying synthetic fibers the fiber which is made from this is obtained from not made from the fiber which is made from the man or artificial that is called as synthetic fibers okay got the ideas now we will see the types of synthetic fibers so how will you prepare this uh, synthetic fibers synthetic fibers uh, how will you prepare the synthetic fibers do you know that the it is a synthetic fiber is a also a chain of small units this units joined together and each small unit is actually a chemical substance it is a chemical substance many such small units combine to form a large single unit so that is called as a polymer the word polymer comes from two greek words two greek words means what poly p o l y poly meanings many and mer meaning part or unit so polymer is made of many repeating units okay got the idea now now you see that types of synthetic fibers nylon nylon polyester acrylic so these are all the types of synthetic fibers first of all you will see that which one rayon uh, see how you got it you know that some here some story also there see look here now see silk fiber obtained from the silk worm was discovered in the china first time and they kept a secret for a longer time towards the end of the century 20 which one 19th century scientists were successful in obtaining the which one obtaining the fiber having properties similar to the silk such a fiber was obtained by the chemical treatment of the wood pulp okay this fiber was called as rayon or artificial silk we are see now see the, this uh, such a fiber obtained by the chemical treatment of wood pulp so this fiber is called as rayon or artificial silk this rayon is obtained from the natural source see rayon is obtained from a natural source wood pulp but that it is man made so it is artificial fiber it is cheaper than the other silk and can be woven into silk pose it can also be dyed in a wide variety of colors so next one you will see that nylon what is nylon you will see that see nylon is also a another made fiber in 1931 it was made without using any natural raw materials so it was prepared from the coal water and air 
So it was the first fully scientific fiber. So sometimes asking the question, it was the first fully synthetic fiber, and you are saying the nylon. And what are the characteristics of nylon? So nylon was strong in nature, elastic and light. It was lustrous and easy to wash. So it has become very popular for making clothes. So use, uh, we use many articles made from nylon such as socks, ropes, stands, toothbrushes and so on. Okay, now next one you will see that polyester. So what is uh, polyester? Polyester is also another synthetic fiber. Say dear students, listen now. And fabrics made from this fiber does not wrinkled easily. Wrinkled means what get holding, holding easily. So it remains crisp, dry, and what you are saying without uh, folding and easy to wash. So it is quite suitable for making dress material. Now the next one, acrylic. So uh, you know that we are wearing sweaters and use shawls or blankets in the winter. Many of these are actually not made from the natural wool. So we are, feeling, we are uh, thinking that they are natural wool. But actually though they appear to resemble the wool, these are prepared from the another type of synthetic fiber that is called as acrylic. What do you think? Acrylic. A-C-R-Y-L-I-C. So these are available in variety of colors. So that is why Synthetic fibers are more durable and as well as affordable. So it makes them more popular than the natural fibers. Now we will see what do you mean by petrochemicals means what? What is petrochemicals? So all the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes using the raw materials of petroleum origin. So that is called as petrochemicals. Okay. Now we will see the characteristics of synthetic fibers. So what is, uh, what one you learn about this fiber, types of fiber, natural fibers, synthetic fibers, types of synthetic fibers like nylon, nylon, polyester, acrylic. Now we will discuss about the characteristics of synthetic fibers. So this characteristic synthetic fibers work, they dry up easily or quickly also are durable, comes longer time and less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. Okay. Now the next one is plastics. So what are plastics? See, this is plastics are uh, made from this, the, like synthetic fibers. Plastics are also like synthetic fibers. Like a poly, plastics is also a polymer. The arrangement here, however, the arrangement of small units is not same, not same as the, which one? Uh, the fibers, okay. This one is, is in some plastics, the arrangement is linear and in others it is cross linear, cross linked. See, somewhere it is linear, straight and somewhere it is cross linked. So plastics can be melted and molded into desired shapes so they can be recycled colored uh, can be done okay now there are types of plastics you see there are two types of plastics thermoplastics and as well as thermosetting plastics say types of plastics you know that the plastics which can get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily are known as thermoplastics okay and this thermoplastics polythene, polythene and PVC are some of the examples of thermoplastics. These are used for manufacturing toys, combs and various types of containers. And now next one is the thermosetting plastics. See this one, there are some plastics which when molded once cannot be softened by the heating. So these are called as thermosetting plastics. Two examples are bakelite and as well as melamine. See, bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. These are so important, dear students. 
It is used for making electrical switches, handles of various utensils. Okay. Now next one is melamine. What is melamine? Melamine is also a versatile material. Versatile means what many uses, a very types. It resists the fire and can tolerate heat better than the other plastics. So it is used for making floor tiles, kitchenware, fabrics, which resists the fire. Now, next one you will see that characteristics of properties of the plastics. Characteristics. So plastics are non-reactive. Non-reactive means, but plastics do not react with water and air. They are not corroded also. That is why they are used to store very kinds of various kinds of materials including many chemicals okay now second property will say plastics are light in weight strong and durable so due to this since plastic is light strong durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes and it is used for various purposes so plastics are generally cheaper than other metals so it is widely used in the industry as well as household articles. So next one is plastics are poor conductors of heat. This is also property. So you know that that is why electrical wires have plastic coverings and handles of screwdrivers are also made from plastics. Okay, now, okay, these are about the characteristics of properties of plastics. Now next one, plastics and the environment. So what is the plastics and environment? You know that when you are going to the market, we are usually get the things wrapped in plastics or packed in the polythene bags. So that is why you are throwing in anywhere, people are throwing in anywhere. Plastic weight keeps getting accumulated homes or even where market areas. So, so what are the harmful effects will be there, you will see now. A material which gets decomposed through the natural process such as action by the bacteria. So this is called as biodegradable substances you know like, the, like that kitchen waste and peels of and leaves matter so these are all get decomposed but some of the materials like plastic and this all a material which is not easily decomposed and by the natural process so that is called as non-biodegradable substances okay here you see wood wood you see takes 10 to 15 years so that is why biodegradable Woolen cloth takes about a year, biodegradable. Paper 10 to 30 days, biodegradable. Which one? Pails of vegetable fruits, leftover food. And one to two weeks, biodegradable. But you see that plastics bags and aluminum, this all takes several long years. So that is why they are all non biodegradable. So they are not friend of the environment. Okay. Now you see the next one. Fire principle. Fire principle means what? So you have to use that. Fire reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and refuse. So these are the fire principle, and you have to develop. So we have to develop, develop the habits which are of environmental friendly. Okay, students. Now the next important heading is fiber wise. Fiber wise means what? Do not throw plastic bags in the water bodies or on the wall. Say, do not throw plastic bags in the water bodies or on the wall. Second one, take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag while going for shopping. Okay. And third one, try to minimize the use of the plastic materials. And you have to use the steel lunch box instead of the plastic ones. So these are all fiber wise. This is actually important heading. You have to remember all the times. So dear students, these are the things, the revision we have completed. Okay. Characteristics of synthetic fibers, types of plastic, characteristic properties of plastics, fire principle, fiber wise. So all the things you go through it, learn important definitions and as well as important points. Okay students, thank you. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us.